you sit with me till I fall asleep? Oh, Jimmy, why would you want me to do that? I'm scared Colleen will come get me. Oh, sweetie, you kids and your silly fears. But Colleen can't get you. She was canceled. But my- Good night. <laughs> Well, we all thought Halloween was over because Colleen Ballinger is back with another apology video. Hey, everybody in the comment section, can you repeat after me? Don't touch the children. So a lot of you guys were asking me to make another Colleen video. What do you think about the Colleen video? Michelle, haven't you seen the Colleen video? Don't you want to talk about her apology? And to that I say, I'm not too sure what you guys really want me to say. It's been a few days now. All the influencers, their mom, even my dog made a response video. And I'm not too sure what else you guys would want out of that. But many of you guys did ask very nicely. I was putting on makeup and I was like, well, why not do another low edit closet video? Also, I have to say, Thank you guys so much. My goal is to get to 750K and you guys freaking got me there very quickly. So thank you so much. My new goal is, you know, to obviously keep increasing it to get to 800,000. If you're like me and interested in drama that you are not in, but you're nosy, but you also don't feel like scrolling through TikTok and figuring it out and rotting your brain, don't worry, hit the subscribe button. I do all the scrolling for you and break it all down into a 20 to 30 minute video. Usually overly edited, but for topics like this, not too much, thank God. And if you have any other little or big topics so let me know in the comment section. You never know, the drama that you think is funny might show up on here. Okay, well, let's do what we do best and judge things on the internet. Today's topic, Colleen's new apology video. If you've already seen it, let me know what you rated. Awful. There you are. Covers all of it. And if you haven't, pay attention. We're going to rate it at the end. Hello, everybody. Uh, sorry I've been gone for so long. I've really missed this. I've missed talking to everyone every single day. Um, obviously, the last video that I posted on here... Um, it's really embarrassing. Oh. So you also think pulling out that ukulele was not the best choice. She probably made the decision, thought it was amazing, and the moment that she posted it, people started memeing her, mocking her, laughing at her, making skits. Some 30-year-old would use their Barbies. I don't know who did that. <laughs> Loser. And we were all supposed to think that this was clever and she was a great singer and oh my gosh, her pitch is perfect. But it went in the complete opposite direction. To say the least, I was being accused of some pretty awful things and I just was mad and um, I should have handled that situation with maturity and empathy but instead I just let my ego take over and I'm really disappointed in myself. Honestly, my biggest fantasy when I clicked on this video was that she was gonna say, you know what you guys, I'm very sorry for that first video. It was extremely embarrassing. I didn't have backup singer. And then Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star, who else kind of got canceled but came back on YouTube. Uzi too. all the original people that people have deemed problematic just comes out from the background of Colleen's mansion and they all start harmonizing in perfect pitch while she plays a ukulele or an electric guitar and did a full rendition of Toxic Gossip Train but less embarrassing and even more catchy. Also, usually when I'm embarrassed of something, anything, I want it gone. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to look at it. I don't want people to see it. And if it was a video that I was extremely embarrassed about, I'd probably just delete it. But that shit is right next to this video, her most popular performance to date. Some people have adult conversations with mistakes. Others make a 10 minute song. And there were a lot of accusations, but there was also a lot of proof if you remember from our last video or everybody else's video. And from the top of my head, she was sending Trisha Paytas nudes and lying about it within months before the Adam video came out. So, but I'm taking it. She probably has an attorney. She has to say everything is allegations so that no one can like see like, she, she just confessed. Lock Colleen Ballinger up along with Miranda Singh. Um, so here's what I want to say today. Um, over the last 15 years of my career, there have been moments where I was immature. She's not naming the moment. Why don't you say the moment? Like I said, there's probably like a lawsuit or her attorney and PR people are saying like, hey, don't. Colleen, even if you did do it, don't say you did. Always say allegations. And also, don't bring out the ukulele again. And inappropriate with some of my comedy. And there were times when I did not put enough thought into some of my fan interactions. And because of that behavior, people got hurt. We're on the topic of comedy and Matt Reif, the guy that got canceled by his main fan base after he made jokes about women getting like beat up and his main fan base 
are women. Very interesting business move, in my opinion, but we'll see how that all goes. But since we're on the topic of comedy, and, and this whole topic is where we all draw the line where comedy should stop, a lot of people will say something just completely absurd, like, um, I'm going to you in the comment section, and then people will find them, like, they'll find their place of work or their mom and tell on them, and then the person will come back and be like, I was just joking, it was just a joke. Or they'll just say some weird things that are just absurd, like Colleen saying that her old humor was you know, it was just jokes. It was just a little weird humor. My line of comedy probably ends where someone is texting lewd things to minors, asking for pictures of minors, sending their oh, their uh, underwear or bras to minors, asking a child if they want to put their hands down an adult's pants. Th that's probably my line of, I don't uh, understand that. I don't understand that joke. I don't know what anyone except for a P-E-D-O would think that that was funny and also enticing. And I am so sorry. I never wanted to hurt anybody, but it's clear that I did and I feel so terrible about that. Um, I also feel like there's probably people who are disappointed or feel abandoned by me because of my silence over the last few months. I mean, I think whatever she's going to say ever, most people weren't going to take it well. I'm pretty sure her PR team probably told her just don't even make a statement about this, and she pulled out that damn ukulele. So she learned the hard way to maybe just listen to the PR team. They probably know best because her judgment was to sing about it, and most people would know not to do that. But for some reason in Colleen's head, she thought that was a 10 out of 10 choice. And I am no therapist, but just mentally, I don't think if I had those kind of allegations, I would do a 10 minute song with a ukulele. I would probably just prove that I didn't do it. Um, and I'm so sorry about that as well. I needed to take time to um, you know, make sure I, I was listening and learning as much as possible. And um, I also needed to um, get the help that I needed to, to be okay. I mean, she is saying all the right things that people want an apology. I got help, I stayed silent and listened. Something that I see with people when something comes out that they like hurt somebody on the internet and then they come out quickly with like some type of, I guess, reasoning or like apology video, whatever. People, the, like the biggest comment I see is, you need to be quiet and listen to the victim. But as you can see here, she did and people were still mad saying that she needs to make more statement. Um. I'm a mom first and foremost before anything else and um, I needed to take care of my kids so. So this is something that I saw in a lot of the comment sections plus a lot of YouTubers when they rated her apology and people were really stuck on the fact that she brought up her children and being a mom and they said how dare you try to pull out our heartstrings about you being a mother. That's no excuse for not, uh, you know, saying. Thing. I mean, this is coming from somebody who has no kid. Got a babysitter and then upgraded to a nanny. But kids are a lot of work. Right, moms out there, let us know. And this woman has three children. I'm not trying to give her excuses, but it was just very odd that people were like, you can't use your children as an excuse, as in they don't understand that children do take up quite a bit of time. And this lady, like she made all these, she did all these problems back in the day. She got virtually beat up for months. She played a ukulele on the internet for everybody to see, made the news. Like I said, I'm just saying, it's a little weird that people were so focused on that. But at the same time, I guess she is someone that vlogged every single day before with three children. So I just thought it was very interesting that people were like, how dare you talk about how hard it is being a mom? And it's like, isn't it hard? Hard though we could critique everything else that one that part is quite true um that's where i've been and um but i'm back and i'm here now and um i am not a perfect person yes the ukulele proved that one and there are plenty of things in my past that i wish i could go back and redo yeah like the ukulele and all the other things um i don't have control over any of that and i don't have control over the things people say about me i only have control over my actions moving forward. I wonder if she's going to kill Miranda. Is she gone? My theater nerd ass is like, she could do a whole thing, right? They kill off her Miranda Sings character. Fake blood, prosthetic, screaming. She can make the whole thing very horrific. So I'm gonna do everything that I can to make sure that I create a positive, kind, inclusive, safe space online with my content. See, she's saying like all the right things. Kind, nice. What other words can I say in this video? Um safe space, all inclusive. There we go, we got them all. And if you wanna be a part of my journey online, I would love to have you, and if not, I completely understand. Um, I do not expect anyone to welcome me back with open arms. I don't expect to change anyone's mind with this video. I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm sorry, and um, 
I wanted to try to show people that it's possible for someone to grow and learn and be better after making mistakes many, many years ago. See if Miranda, I mean, oh wait, Colleen. If Colleen can make a horrible mistake and sit on the floor and apologize to people that she's not naming directly, you can too. I'm not too sure where I was going with that, but all these mistakes that she's saying, not all of them were years ago or months ago. So it's weird that she's saying, she's trying to give off that, at least this is what I'm getting. She's starting or giving off the vibe that, oh, these were just, you know, like the early 2000s where we had very, what we would call now edgy joke, where you call people the N word, where like a lot of YouTubers get exposed, supposedly exposed, even those on the internet for putting or doing blackface. Jokes like that back in the day where it was supposedly super funny. You guys always ask me like, do you think that stuff is funny? That's not my, like I, beginning YouTuber skits were very, I never watched that stuff. I started watching YouTube when when I found Swoozy. A few years after I saw Swoozy's video on looking at Disneyland was when I was like, huh, YouTube isn't all about Trisha Paytas doing whatever she's doing. Anyway, what I'm saying is that I'm used to the edgy jokes from back in the day. And she's trying to make it seem like all of her edgy jokes and her Miranda Sings character was like years ago. She, didn't she just have shows like a few months ago of her weird character. I'm going to try to vlog again and today I'm just gonna film my day and share some simple happy moments. So that was just an epic transition. Hey guys, I'm so sorry for asking underage girls to um, stick their tampons in their mouth and then send me pictures of it. Sending my underwear to underage boys. Asking the little boys to put their hands down my pants. Sending P-O-R-N to underage boys. But life's been so hard. Anyway, take a look at my chicken. Ta-da! Chicken coop! That's what she does. The apology is about two and a half, three minutes, and then she shows us her chicken. They also, we let them free roam in the backyard when we're here. We only let them out if we are watching them, excuse you, applesauce. And she's been posting every single day and has said that it's part of her therapy because she had so much trauma from the internet. Her therapist said, well then uh, you should probably post more, which that seems interesting. I'm not a therapist, but I would think that the thing that brings you the most trauma, that's what you want to do the most. It's very, I, I don't know. That's what she said though. Anyway, it's weird, but that's what's going on in Colleen Ballinger's uh, universe. So I guess it's time to rate it and I give it a solid <laughs> this. But what do you guys give it? Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Are you interested in Colleen Ballinger's content? But if you're not interested in that and maybe interested in some Barbie skits, sarcasm, puppy, and a breakdown of internet drama, click the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video and I will see all of you next time. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up.